So there should be uh, four outlets. As part of the sort of ringing licence, I have to uh, record everything that I do and record what I find and which rings I use and everything. You know, hopefully they've been fed last night and had a meal at the, towards the end of the night and they're just sort of sleeping it all off, digesting, and they're growing very, very fast. So they tend to be quite, quite docile. And they seem docile enough for me to open this and they're not going to try and escape. But they like to be in a nice cavity, all huddled up. See, so there's four hours. One, two, three. That's the youngest, see it's got all the down still on it. That's, that's the sort of, you know, the initial feather. Baby hair. The baby nice. bird, yeah. <laughs> and it's still got down on it. And the down is now just sort of, it's all over the inside of the box, coating the box. But now this one's grown all of its adult feathers too. For years and years people have studied barn owls and they know that, you know, they have a certain growth rate of different things. And they, they one of the most reliable measurements is one of the feathers. You take the average measurement and you can tell how many days old they are with the length, length of feather growth. So, so these birds got ten primary feathers. Sorry, I know you're trying to sleep. Ten primary feathers. So this is number ten. So then I count ten, nine, eight, seven. I'm going to measure the number seven. Let's see how much feathers come out here. And that's about the same. So, 130 mils. That's right, isn't it? 13, 130 mils. So it's about 52, 53 days old. Oh, there you go. So eight weeks. And this might only be what, five weeks, five weeks old, something like that. Not good to be. But we'll see. Hello. <laughs> the thing that's crucial for these owls is voles. There aren't enough voles. They're the favourite prey. They will eat other things. They'll eat rats around here and mice and they'll eat shrews, lots of shrews. But voles seem to be, in this country, the most important thing for them to eat. Because for each one they catch, they get a lot of energy. So how do you encourage the voles uh, to... Mm. Rough grass. You know how we leave like rough grass edges mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. the crop fields? Mm -hmm. uh, that. That's the kind of habitat that voles do really well in, especially yeah, short-tailed yeah. voles. And hedges and things like that as well, very helpful. It's about 285. So that's much lighter. What's the other one? 333. Three, three. This is the eldest. I think that's a, um, a male. So there's no spotting across no. the chest. Bits here. There should be spotting under here if it was female. So I reckon that's a male. Four, five, so average one, four, six, <laughs> one, four, seven. This just gives, helps us to sort of get an idea of their growth rates and their health. You know, if, they, if they've got lots of weight on them, it's a good sign. So this is 300 and 315. Again, this is just the sound of the ring against the pliers. Yeah? It can't actually close mm. this way round. And then what I do is I put that there and I f I, there's a gap, you see, which could catch onto feather. So I've got to close that gap by flattening this, this area. And so I don't accidentally slip off and hurt the leg. I put my thumb in the way. All right. Let's have a guess at how old this one is now. Right, and then this is 101. 101 mils average. Mm -hmm. 322. Two. Adds a good meal inside it, weigh quite a lot more. Because mm -hmm. a, a, a bowl might be 30, mm -hmm. 40 grams. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put those back.